Welcome to News Behind the News. Today we're talking about index inclusion. MSCI has in included in the second phase Chinese A shares on August 31. We are here with Banyani Cruz, Executive Editor of The Asset. I'm Daniel Yu, Editor in Chief. Banyani, what do you think of the latest second phase inclusion of the MSCI index? Well, it's uh, certainly a very positive development. Uh, it paves the way for more inflows of uh, investments into Chinese air share, especially at this point. Uh, and uh, yeah, it can only, uh, it's like opening a, a door right into the Chinese uh, air share market. And this is the first door that's been opened. Yeah. Now, of course, there were a lot of concern in the second phase that there might be uh, some issues around the liquidity. Mm -hmm. It didn't come up, yeah. I, I don't think. No, uh, well, the, before the inclusion, the issue was that there might not be enough liquidity mm. to finance all of the flows uh, that uh, are expected. Uh, if you remember, they, they expect, some analysts expected as much as 17 billion of inflows into the Chinese air shares mm. on the date of the inclusion. Yeah, we're talking about CNH liquidity, right? Offshore, yeah, offshore CNH Renminbi, liquidity, yeah. yeah. The uh, concern was that there might not be enough CNH in the market to finance uh, all of these uh, expected mm. inflows. Yes, that's right. But but that didn't happen because although there was massive inflows, uh, there was also a lot of people selling their A shares, right? And so the s the selling sort of just upset the just offset the uh, inflows. So in the end, uh, the liquidity issue did not arise. Did not materialize. Now. MSCI is not the only index provider that's looking at uh, including A shares onto their index. Who else are also are looking, other index providers looking at doing that? Well, FTSE Russell has been talking about uh, also including A shares into their indices, and mm -hmm. I think they'll be uh, making a definite uh, announcement soon. And also, of course, there's uh, S&P Dow Jones. Uh, basically, all of the uh, principal uh, index providers are now uh, moving to include A shares into their indices. By why why is the index inclusion very important? What, what's the implication for the China stock market? Well, it's really implications for the China market. It can be only positive. The reason why this has to happen is because the Chinese market has become over the years such a big part of the global equities market, and yet they were not included into the global indices. Mm -hmm. So that sort of distorted the. Uh, the uh, index uh, market, right? Uh, and, and so the, the now it has come to a point where the distortion can no longer go on continuously. So they really have to find a way to include Chinese A shares into the global indices. The inclusion, the MSCI inclusion is coming at a time when the Chinese A share market has under a lot of pressure. Since yeah. early this year, January, yes. we've seen the market correct by up to 24%, right, from yes, really. over 3,500 to 2,800. Is it, with index inclusion, is it going to change the outlook for the Chinese Asia market? Not really uh, in the short term because uh, the pressure that's been happening on the Asia is brought about by uh, developments which are be, uh, beyond our control, right? And basically you have uh, the trade war that's been going on, which is putting negative pressure on Chinese equities. And then there's also, even before the trade war, there's this uh, concern about the slowdown of the Chinese economy, right? Which is mm, also putting mm, a lot of mm. negative pressure on Chinese equities. Mm. So uh, although the inclusion is a positive long-term development, I don't think it will upset or overturn uh, the uh, negative, well, the downward pressure on Chinese air shares at this point. Mm -hmm. At any rate, I think we're going to see uh, mm -hmm. continually opening of China's capital markets to yes. foreign investors uh, into the future. Definitely. You've been uh, watching News Behind the News and uh, stay tuned for the next episode of News Behind the News by The Asset. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.